Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I decided to buy the Kiera Sky Kit. It was recommended to me by a friend of mine who goes to a salon where they use it and she loves it. She says that her nails have grown so much. So I was very excited about that. And that is the reason why I decided to go ahead and give it a try. Today I I'm going to be doing the French manicure for the first time using a French dip jar that I got on Amazon. It was $4.99. The one from Kara Sky, I believe, is like $20 something dollars. So I decided to give the less expensive one a try. I figured they may be pretty similar. So, anyway, let's get started on the Kara Sky. It comes with numbers every single bottle for the steps. You have step one step two, step three, step four, and I believe she has a cuticle oil as a step five or something like that. I have an old cuticle oil that I really like and um, I have been using it for years. It smells really delicious still and I have no complaints so I'm gonna go ahead and use that at the end. I bought this little brush on Amazon so that I can brush away the dust not the dust, <laughs> the powder. I mean, I've only done dip powder nails three times. This will be my third time. I've been doing a solid color, so it's my first time doing a French and I hope it goes okay. I'm already owning a couple fun shades. I mean, I have the medium pink, which is called, yeah, medium pink. I have this one and I bought the pure white and it's the two ounce one, so it's a really big bottle. So I'm excited. I have the clear, which is as your top coat. This is very important because you want to make sure you use a clear top coat so that when you're filing your nail to make it smooth because you know, you're adding powder. I mean, you'll see the process if you're not familiar with it. When you're adding that, um, the clear coat it allows for your actual color that you've used not to fade. So what you're filing away essentially would be the clear, not the color, if that makes sense. And I've also gotten this shade, which I took off today. Oh my gosh, this is such a pretty nude, you guys. It's called Bear With Me and it's so pretty. All of these things I've gotten on Amazon. I love Amazon Prime. Things are here so quickly that I just, <laughs> There's nothing better. I also got this super cute glitter. It's a golden glitter and it's called Pixie Dust. And I absolutely love it. I have not used it, but I have seen it. And it's very pretty and I can't wait to do some fun Christmas nails and a fun glitter fringe. I mean, I'm super excited to use all of this. And then there is this gorgeous red that on the bottle, it doesn't do it justice, but on the pictures that I have seen, it looks like OPI's, um, what's that color? Oh, Big Apple Red, which is one of my favorite red tones because it's orangey and I love those colors. And I have lipsticks like that because they go so great with my skin tone. So I feel like when I do this type of nails, it's like the perfect thing for me to wear nails that are matching my lipstick. I absolutely love doing that. And this one is called Sherry Sherry. I also got it on Amazon. So all in all, on the starter kit, I spent um, 30 some dollars. I will go ahead and link all of his products in the description down below with the prices and everything again was from Amazon. Absolutely love it. And this is the French dip jar. Oh, sorry, that I'm going to be using from Amazon as well. It has two different two different um, ends to it where you can get different results. One's round and the other one's oval. I think I'm going to go with the oval, even though my nails are not super long right now. But they have grown consistently. And what I mean by that is, thanks to this dip powder, my nails are not breaking so much. I mean, you're gonna see my hands are a little wrinkly right now because I was just doing the dishes. And guys, I kid you not, this happened. I literally just took them off today 
and this nail chipped on the side and I'm so upset because they were all very even and now I mean it's not a big deal I had to file it down but this is so good the dip powders because they make your nails so hard that they don't break and especially if you're constantly with your hands in water this is going to be God sent to you guys I also got the Kira Sky what is this called hold on dip powder recycling system and I got this because the clear coat which is I mean the clear powder it is so expensive I mean it is about $20 so you don't want to be dipping in um, your nail with color because I did notice that a little bit of color was um, getting into the clear and eventually if you're doing this over and over and over again your clear coat I mean your your clear color is not going to be clear anymore and it may be contaminated and then when you're using it on your nail you may get other colors onto your nail and that's not what you want you want it to be clear so that it doesn't ruin the manicure that you're giving yourself but let's go ahead and get started i am very excited to try to do a french so i don't have a machine to file away any extra nail polish but i do have nail filers and that's i've actually have been using this buffer in the past and yeah my nails come out a little thicker but honestly since i'm trying to grow them out it doesn't bother me oh one more thing that's very important for you guys you need to also get alcohol and most important is you need a lint free sort of cotton so i bought this lint free cotton squares and they're awesome because they don't leave obviously any lint behind because you don't want that in your nails when you're doing any kind of nails so anyways okay enough rambling I'm going to go ahead and get started first thing you're gonna be doing is you are going to buff your nails okay I'm satisfied with this so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna wet one of this cotton lint free cuttings that I told you about and I am going to clean my nails all right you guys before I get started actually I'm gonna go ahead and add the white color here into my French jar just got to figure out oh this is perfect all right and it tells you if you want the oval or if you want the round based on the photos I am gravitating towards the oval all right so now my white is ready and I'm gonna get the white out of the way so I don't confuse it with the clear because if you look at them both dead on they look the same <laughs> I'm super excited about this all right since this system is just for myself, I am going to be dipping my finger in here. It doesn't matter to me because it is just me using this, so I don't have any issues with double dipping. Very important, you guys, do a nail at a time simply because you don't want your product to dry. This is literally a glue so you don't want to add powder to a glue that's almost dry so you want to dip each finger as you go you want to concentrate on one at a time there's no rush so just have fun with it and here we go let me wait for that to dry and we're going to add step one which is bond this you're going to add to all of your nails Now we're gonna go with the base. And this is pretty much what we're gonna use a lot of. This is our glue, so this is something that we're gonna keep adding and adding to every single nail, to every single coat. So you first, according to Kiara Sky, her directions is, you wanna start here. You don't wanna start near the cuticle yet. So this is where you start and you're going to dip it into your color. You're going to get it out. 
top of the axis. So now that I think it's right a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and fluff with this little brush any excess. And I'm doing this so that it doesn't end up getting cut up into this brush. So now we're gonna go and move closer to the cuticle, but not super, super close. Just close enough. Okay, I'm satisfied. This seems to be a very pretty pink. Again, I'm gonna wait for it to dry better because last time when I was doing this, my brush, I was using a different brush, it got ruined. So I think the glue was wet with the color, so. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and buff them out because it's been long enough that it should be dry and any excess should fall right off. Okay, now on to the fun part. I am a little scared, but let's do this. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add the bond to the entire nail. And we are just going to do the oval. And I'm gonna do it like this. I just, I hope I do it the right way. Well, <laughs> we'll get better the second time around. So now what they want us to do is to go back into the pink. something like this. I mean, it's not so bad, but we'll fix it the second time around. So maybe what I would do differently is um, instead of doing three coats of the pink, I would just do one and then do the rest of the coat differently. Okay, so this one came out a little bit better. I just would like a sharper line. see if I make sure I'm not doing something wrong okay guys I got it figured out now see all it takes is trial and error I figured out how to do it so I'm gonna do it better this time so this is what you do you just rest your finger here and move in Now you move away and it's perfect. Look at that. Wow, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And now you go into the pink. Sorry, that was my husband. Oh. 
Oh, but the pink moved it. Huh. So when I went in the pink, it moved my color. So, so this is what I'm gonna do. Since I don't want it to move my color, I'm going to instead add the color up top so that it doesn't move it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this little thing meant for the clear and that's how I'm going to finish doing this. Let's see if that makes it better. This is perfect. And now I'm going to get a little bit of the pink. I'm going to just add it on. So that it doesn't move my color. It moves it a little bit. I'm not okay with that. All right, let's continue. See, it comes out perfect. It's just once you start putting the other color on that it gets a little messy. All right, honestly, I think this method is better to do it here. So, I'm gonna just make sure my clear doesn't get contaminated because this is where it's gonna go. And now we're gonna do the second coat. Okay, look how pretty this is and I just don't wanna mess it up. <laughs> I mean, you guys see this? It's perfection. Okay, that's looking better. I'm happy with that. A little thick, but I'm excited. It's looking so much nicer. Now we're gonna add the clear color, the, the top coat, and it's the clear color so that when we start filing our nails, our color at the bottom doesn't get ruined. So we're not filing away the color that we just deposited. So I'm gonna use my recycling system so that I don't end up getting this contaminated with any colors. We're gonna use the base again And we're gonna do one by one. Okay, now that we did that, we're gonna take this out of the way and we're gonna put our seal protect on so that we can start buffing and making our nails smooth 
and thinner than they are. You have to wait for this to dry before you start that process. Like I said earlier, I had been using this as my buffer, but I'm gonna go ahead and try one of the new nail filers that I just ordered and received from Amazon, just to give it a try. See how that goes. And I'm gonna repeat this to every single nail. I'm gonna have to cut off the video now because I am running out of space in my card. So I will be back once I'm done filing every single one of them. So I'm gonna come back in when I'm done. Okay, I feel really bad not showing you guys how to do this very important step on camera because so many people are anxious about this system because they think they need to have a drill or a sort of electric buffer or nail file and I don't have that yet. I do want to get it um, sometime but as of now I'm okay with this. So I'm going to show you in this nail, I've, I've already done this too. I'm going to show you how I am going to buff this away using the 180 that I told you guys about. And I'm going to start here. I'm going to try to catch that on camera in the view. I'm going to do it in a kind of circular motion. I want to go at every angle of the nail because I want it to look as good as possible. So I'm starting on this side. And I'm going to start moving towards the center, but always kind of in a circular sort of way. So rotating as I go. It may seem like a lot of work, but honestly, I don't think it is. I think the fact that I get to do such a, such a nice manicure at home and I get to do it myself and not have to leave the babies anywhere or, you know, have to spend any money it's really good for me plus this is kind of relaxing I love doing my nails I don't have much patience for my for my toes I mean I do them anyway I did them today but I just find it so therapeutic to do a manicure especially the painting of the nails that's one of my favorite things to do it's just relaxing So now I'm just gonna clean the edges. Remember what I told you guys, you can do this and it makes it a nice straight line. It cleans it really nicely. And my cuticle is fine, but I'm gonna go ahead and softly so that later on, I cut myself last time doing this because I was a little too rough, but you wanna go in nicely close to the cuticle so you can lower the color if it's bumpy or actually not bumpy but thick you can even it out okay i think i am done with this it feels Pretty smooth. I'm gonna smooth it out further with this nail buffer and I'm gonna continue doing the next two nails off camera because again I'm sorry but I'm running out of space. It's nice and smooth and voila let's go on to the next two. Alright guys I'm happy with how my nails look. So I'm going to go ahead and add alcohol to my cotton and I'm going to clean them so that I can add the last step which is the top coat. So once it dries I'm going to add seal protect and then I'm going to add my top coat.
When you apply the top coat, you have to wait two minutes for the nails to dry. And then you're good. You wanna do this step twice so that your nails are very shiny. And that is what Kiera Sky, and I'm sorry if I'm saying the name wrong, guys. That is what she recommends for you to do two coats of the top coat. This top coat is like some serious business that the minute it comes out to the air, your brush gets crazy because it dries so quickly. I don't know if this happens to anybody else that may have this system, but it happens to me. It's a little annoying. On to the second and final coat. Alright guys, my nails are dry now and I'm going to add the cuticle oil. I definitely need it, especially after filing them so aggressively. <laughs> So I'm going to do my other hand and I hope it'll come out just as good if not better than this hand. So I'll be right back with the final product. This is the before and the after should be better. Well guys, sorry I'm talking really low. It's very late right now. <laughs> oh my God, it's like, let me see what's the time. It's 1.30 in the morning. Practice definitely makes perfect because this hand was my second hand that I did and it looks a lot better than the first in my opinion. So this was my very first time doing the French manicure with the Kira Sky system and I really, really, really like it. I'm definitely gonna get better with time but it goes to show you guys that anyone can do it. All you have to do is just have some patience and practice, practice, practice. And that's it. So this is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it inspired you to go ahead and try it for yourself and maybe save a little bit of money or save a little bit of time. And especially for moms, we tend to do our beauty things during nap times or when the babies or toddlers or kids, whatever the situation, when they go to bed at night. That is exactly what I did today. They went to bed and I started working on my beauty routine. And sorry, I'm not coming out in this video, but I am wearing my PJs and I'm ready to go to bed. I am not at all camera ready. <laughs> so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I am going to be uploading new material every single week and next week I am going to be uploading more than two videos so stay tuned for that. They are definitely Halloween inspired. So don't forget to subscribe you guys and give this video a thumbs up and hit that bell button so that you know every single time that I upload a new video. Yeah? Alright. <laughs> Alrighty guys. Until next time, bye.